Hi, John. Hi, Luis. It's a big pleasure to be here with you. No, thank you. The question is, what has been the, the biggest challenge in your sports career? Good question. I think, I think the biggest challenge is to keep finding uh, good Grand Prix horses. Yeah, I've been very lucky, I've had a long career, but it's to stay at the top you need uh, constant uh, Grand Prix horses. It's really difficult to find them, but sometimes you find them just by luck and just being at the right place at the right time. And, and you, you, you ride? Yeah, I'm actually riding here in Mexico. One day I would like to be a professional rider just like you. Uh, good luck with that and uh, you have to work hard and keep trying. Don't give up. Thank you so much. Good luck. Good morning. Uh, my question is, what's one of the most important qualities for a successful rider to have? Okay. I think, well, experience, you need to, the younger, I think the younger you start to ride, the better. So you look quite young. So uh, uh, practice, learn horsemanship, you know, all those things. As a, as a rider, balance is very important. To stay with horses' movement, stay relaxed, calm, all those things. Practice, practice is the main thing. Ride as much as you can. And, and to ride different horses is also good. Thank you. Good luck. Hello. Hi, how are you? My question is, if you could choose a horse that another rider has, which one would it be and why? I think that's very easy. King Edward, because he's the best horse at the moment. I would probably choose him or All In too. All, all In as us probably will be my second one, but um, King Edward is younger. So I yeah, go for yeah. King. Good question, thank you. Thank you. Hello, John. Hi, morning. My question is, since you first entered the sport up until this point, how exactly has the sport changed and how did you deal with it? Yeah, to be honest, I still don't know the rules properly. <laughs> but no, I think uh, one of the big things that has changed in the sport is the fences we jump, the material. You know, when I first started, there were really big, heavy poles with deep cups but now they're really really light i think you 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 compete with top riders every week if you don't improve and you don't stay with the times then you you go backwards so thank you john for answering okay you're welcome nice speaking to you hi john hi morning diago is it difficult to compete in family no i think uh as you probably know i've got we've got i've got a big family my brothers and my sons and daughters and nieces and nephews all riding. And I think, yeah, the only difficult part about it is finding good horses for every, all, the, all the family. But uh, apart from that, I think it's, it's a good atmosphere to ride with your family. And we compete against each other and we fight against each other and uh, we give confidence to each other. So it's, I think, in fact, it's, uh, it's a big help to have family around when you're competing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, John. Hi, Alex. Hi, lovely to meet you. And you, where are you from, Alex? Oh, I'm British. <laughs> oh, you're British, all right. You might be able to understand me then. <laughs> so my question is, um, what would you change about the sport? What I would change, I'm not sure. I wish I could be uh, 25 again. That's what I'd like to change. <laughs> no. Uh, I can't think of anything what I would change to, to improve. Uh, you know, the standard is really high and the shows, there's many, many good shows. It's a little bit difficult, apart from me being old. It's, the other problem is I only really have one really good Grand Prix horse. It would be nice to get back into the top 10 or 20 in, in the rankings. And I'm not complaining, but I think if you ask any rider, they would say, I need more, more Grand Prix horses. So that's the way it is. It's difficult, difficult to find them. Everybody's looking for the same superstar. But no, I'm not complaining anyway. I've had a good time. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay.